Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise. After a nice couple of wins, heading into the bye week, got some confidence rolling before we take on the Chicago Bears. Right now, the division leader, they have been a hot team. And uh, they pretty much changed our season after that defeat last time, 34-10. to But you can see the last two games after that defeat, 35-10, beat down of Minnesota, and then a 48-10, really, really big time, Beat down 28 points in the first quarter. Five turnovers in that first quarter. They ended up turning the ball over seven total times at Philadelphia. But the thing is, too, we've been able to run the ball. Even though with our quarterback deficiencies with Max Thurston, Sam Howell getting his first start last week, we're able to run the ball and the defense has been lights out. And you can see the schedule coming up. we got the Bears on Thanksgiving. That'll be here. This is going to be a big, maybe the biggest game of the season. Go to Green Bay Sunday night. And then Monday night against the Ravens. So you got three primetime games. I mean, Thanksgiving is an afternoon game, but I mean, come on, it's really a primetime game. Everybody's usually watching, sitting down, either you've already eaten or you're waiting to eat a big meal. So the, we got three primetime games in a row. This is an even more chance to kind of, uh, you know, show everybody that this Lions team is for real. We've had problems, but we're ready to get back at it. During the bye, trying to make some contract extensions. Benet Sewell, he is good to go. Five more years offensive line trying to keep that intact so important we bring him back so we got Hughes possible Malcolm Rodriguez Traylon Burks that's a decent contract and I've liked the production we have gotten out of him I think that's a pretty cheap deal so I think we're going to try to bring him back just a two-year deal that puts him up to 27 years old around 6.5 average maybe million dollars and that'll work that'll work Traylon Burks is going to return he won't hit free agency so he's got two-year new deal on his uh, for his contract. Rodriguez, I think I'm definitely interested in bringing back for sure. Uh, anybody else here that I'm thinking about? Maybe Jermaine Pratt because it's a cheap deal, good, you know, guy that can get in there and he is solid uh, going down the list. Obviously, Sam Howell, we'll see. And James Houston, I want to bring back, but obviously can't negotiate till week 17. But I, um, I can't wait till he gets back from injury. He should be a few weeks away. I think he'll miss this Bears game. But he should be ready for the Packers game. And then hopefully that gives uh, more of a pass rushing guy in there. And hopefully with him and Hutchinson, Goodridge, Pascal as well, we can uh, definitely have a uh, premier pass rush, which has been a little bit off so far this season. It started off pretty well, but lately it's kind of tailored off. So hopefully that gets a little better. They're saying Matthias Royster for their evaluation as we do have the focus player up here for scouting. And everything's changed. Obviously now I'm thinking... <laughs> Kenny Aiken, he is the number, they're projecting him number two pick overall right now. Um, well, the number two overall play, player in the draft. And I think we're going to have to look at him. We haven't really looked at quarterback. It wasn't a focus, but I mean, we're going to have to make it a focus here for at least one of these guys. So Kenny Aiken, strong arm. He's got that prototypical quarterback size, big time guy. Uh, B deep accuracy, medium accuracy B as well. You can see he has a great to elite throw power. So he is going to have one heck of an arm. I'm not sure if he's going to put him up much speed with poor to marginal, but he's that guy that can step back a under pressure. So he's going to deliver that ball. They had the B deep B medium. So, I mean, he looks very, very good. He definitely does. I wish he had a little bit more speed maybe, but we're going to like focus player him see possibly because right now i mean sam hell you got plenty of time to prove yourself mac thurston i don't know what he's really going to give you i am possibly thinking about maybe depending what happens in the rest of the season you, you know kind of like switch back and forth i know that's not an nfl thing that's more of a college thing i totally get that but it's you know really to see if we're going to be able to go forward with either one of these guys or if that's going to be the main thing coming into the off season Matthias Royster, the guy they told to uh, have more focus. I mean, his physicals aren't very good. B awareness, B hit power, B pursuit, C play rec, D tackling. I don't know. I didn't like the physicals, everything else not that great. So I'm not sure about that. So I don't think we'll focus on him. Corner could be a thing. We'll see. You know, with Hughes could be gone. You know, we have, what, Boston back there. So we have guys that are young, but obviously would love to bring in more corners. And who knows what's going to happen? I, I don't know. This is, uh, now we're going in, you know, who, who who knows what happens to the rest of the season? Do we get into the playoffs? Uh, do we go far in the playoffs? 
Do we miss out on the playoffs? Obviously, if you miss out on the playoffs, uh, there's going to be some major changes on this team. Even if we kind of get into the playoffs, I don't know. I mean, there could be a major change with quarterback position. Well, it, it's really, uh, you know, here already in, in year four, you're hoping you got some things settled. We, we do on the defensive side of the ball. It's just offense. We got to find some things. At least we have one at least big-time guy back there in DeAndre Swift. We can know we can give the ball for sure. So team bonding gives us plus 10 morale, minus 5 awareness for this game coming up, which we're going to need all the awareness we possibly can to play wreck. Taking on this Bears team who just absolutely beat us down last time we saw them. Yeah, now they are 8-3. and three. They continue their win streak. So if they, if we cannot get this victory against the Bears, I would say the division's out of hand. They would have beaten us twice. They continue to win. Uh, so this is a must-win situation. And Devin Bush is going to have a chance to be a superstar X-Factor. Hold the Bears less than 150 total yards. Get Devin Bushy to three picks. Force fumble, tackle for loss, or sacks. That's a possibility. We can maybe get tackles for loss for sure. Hold them under 150 total yards. That might be... I, you say it's tough, but I don't know. Bears offense isn't the most dynamic. They, you know, they love to run the ball. So another one we have is uh, McDougal has a chance, I believe, to be a superstar dev. Now we got to hold the Bears less than 150 passing yards. To me, that is doable against the Bears. They're going to want to run the ball and run it a lot. And passing game isn't their forte, isn't their strength. They're more based on the run. So we could hold them under 150 pass yards in this game. I think we can definitely shoot for that for sure. So yeah, this team is hot. I don't want to insult them. Just be confident. It's a division opponent. We know what they are. They handled us last time. And uh, it's time to get some a little bit of payback, get back into this division, get this victory. If we get this victory, it'll be a game back. We would have split the season series. We just got to end up beating the Packers next week as well if we get this game because it could come down to that division record to see who wins the division. And right now we've lost to the Packers. We've lost to this Bears team. So we can't afford any more really division losses. But hopefully we can get it done here. Thanksgiving Day to start it off, Bears. Packers, pretty good division game, good records. This is a very, very solid game, and let's get this one going. Start off week 12 here in Detroit. Nice sunny day, maybe a little cool. I still wish they had the weather in this, like the exact temperature, what it's like outside. I'd really wish you could change it in game, like a setting. That'd be great. That would be great for sure. They need to definitely... Bring that back. So let's get this one going. DeAndre Swift up the middle. He's got a gain of five. As we are trying to win our third straight game after the last time we faced this Bears team and they uh, took us down. So second and five. Swift up the middle. He has got six. He has been on fire the last few weeks. Really has carried this team, carried this offense. And hopefully he can carry to a victory in this game. As he is just uncovered on the outside. Luckily for the Bears, Ja'Quan Ju Ju Brisker makes a nice play, makes the tackle. Or Swift, it was nobody covering him. Third and three up the middle, Swift again. First down. I'm going to try to get him as many touches as possible. If we can get him 25 touches, that's what I want to do. Second and two. We'll go to Ramondre Stevenson here up the middle, if I can say his name. He's got a first down at the 31-yard line, and you can see the running game looking good. So far, good start. Love to pick up some points here. As Sam Howell looking to the outside. Another open man. Adrian Olsen with the grab. That's another first down. We'll take it down to the 20-yard line. Sam Howell. Solid start so far. A couple of nice throws as he rolls out this time. Pressure in his face. And he misses his man underneath. Adrian Olsen was open. He just overthrew him. And that's going to be picked off by Jaquan Brisker. An absolute mistake. Yeah, Sam Howell, he's got him underneath. Just lay it to him. He overthrows him. Brisker waiting for it. Picks it off. Bears make a huge play here in the red zone. And here comes this Bears offense. As Justin Fields tries to keep it. But Devin Bush is all over it. There's one tackle for a loss. So we got one already. Third and 11. Back to throw is Fields. Looking around. Can't find anybody. Going to throw it away in a quick three and out. Yeah, this is, a, this is a different defense that this Bears team saw last time. We're completely different. We are ready to go. We are on fire. We're playing really, really good ball. And this is going to be a different defense. We're not going to let you just run all over us. That's for sure. Third and two. DeAndre Swift can't get it. Is stopped. 
Nice play there by Lipton, and now that is going to be a quick punt for us as well. So here comes this Bears offense. Fields is going to keep it, and we're waiting for it. Malcolm Rodriguez is there. I'm telling you, not anymore. We're not going to allow this to happen. Fields has just run all over us a few times in this franchise. He did it last game. He did it a season before. It's not going to happen again. We are prepared. We are ready. Nice play there by Don Moyer for the stop and a third and 13 now for this Bears offense. Fields looking down the field. Firing. That is a dangerous throw. It's going to be knocked away by Akuda. Incomplete. Bears don't get anything there once again. Three and out, so they'll have to punt. And Cedric Malone back there. He's got that speed. He has some room to the outside. Gets away from one. Cuts up. And that's a solid return up to the 45-yard line. Hopefully gives this offense a jump start. And let's get this one going. Hopefully Sam Howell just, you know, don't worry about the interception. Out of your mind. But misses Jamison Williams. They're actually George Dixon. Incomplete. He had him. Brings up a third and eight. But he'll go to Dixon this time on the flat. They brought the blitz. He was waiting for it. Nice pick up there. Sam Howell to Dixon. First down. Chains move. And up to the 42 is Alex Randall. Well, that's a great cutback. Just seeing that little lane cuts it right up. Nice job. Nice vision. First down up to the 31. As we're moving it once again after that really good field position. Play action on second and five underneath the Jamison Williams. He'll be tackled out of bounds. That's Corey Stinson, obviously a fantastic corner. Knocks him out there. And a third and three will find Chandler Brooks for the grab. Beats Lipton in coverage. First down. And up to the 16-yard line. Chains move. Let's see if we can put this one in this time. As look out! RPO. We had Jamison Williams on the outside. But Costin just got in there instantly for the sack. And now a third and 12. But we'll find Jamison Williams for the touchdown. As they just left the open middle part of the field. And Sam Howe finds it. Finds Jamison Williams right over the head, I believe, of Blake Martinez. I mean, look how open that is. They just hoping the blitz is going to get there as they brought it, but it was picked up perfectly. Fine, Jamison Williams, TD, and a great start. There we go, 7 nothing lead. Pick doesn't matter as Fields is going to keep it this time, but Derrick Brown stops him. Nice tackle. Third and five. Bears looking for their first first down of this game, and they're not going to get it here. Screen pass to Montgomery's picked up. Devin Bush. And I believe that's another tackle for loss. We just need one more. And he's an X Factor. One more. Great start. Let's get back to this run. Let's wear down this Bears defense. As Randall, very good start for him. Three for 27. Another first down run. We're up to the 38-yard line. Here comes some heat from Chicago. Go to the outside. It's knocked away incomplete. Looking for, I believe, Olsen there. Actually, Brooks. And now third and 11. Look out. And that is going to be a sack. Hassan Reddick, who uh, kind of destroyed us last game, gets one here to start, forces a punt. Yeah, this is a game. If you, if you like running the ball and playing some defense, this is going to be a game for you. I don't expect a whole lot. This is going to be a close, tight game. Both teams loving to throw the ball. I mean, run the ball is a nice throw there by Fields. Yeah, run the ball, not throw the ball. They want to they run. They want to play defense. They want to wear down the other team. That's the plan for both of us right now. Kind of similar teams. Obviously, with Fields back there, I think you have more of ability to throw. Third and eight, it's going to be an encroachment penalty. So, that's on Aiden Hutchinson. So, instead of a third and eight, it's a third and three. And now with this Bears team, you know, they can just decide to run the ball. And that's exactly what they're going to do with Montgomery up the middle. It's going to be close, and they give it to him. First down, Chicago. So instead of put them in a position maybe they don't want to throw the ball, they have to run it. They run it there, get the first, but another screen pass does not work for Chicago. You can see it's nothing but short passes, screens. That's their passing game. They just don't really go down the field that much. Third and 13, dumps it underneath. That's going to be well short. It's completed to Montgomery, but that is going to be a punt. 7 0, 240 left here in this first half. Second and nine as we pitch it to Dixon. Has some room, has some blocks. One man to beat, jukes him out, but finally brought down up to the 50 yard line. Nice job, 22 yards to George Dixon. And a first down. Obviously, Bears receive the ball in the second half. As 
So love to not have them get the ball back here, waste some clock, pick up some points as Jamison Williams, and that was a great throw by Sam Howe. Right in between two defenders. Nice job. Even though he had that pick earlier, I'm seeing some better throws. Is that one's on the money to Dixon? That's a nice throw. Lobs it perfectly first down. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it from Sam Howe. He's making some solid throws as he's going up for Chandler Brooks. But he can't bring it down. Third and ten, and here comes the blitz from Chicago. Look out. Just throw it away. Just get rid of it. Throw it away. Don't risk a you know turnover again. We got points coming up here from Weston. No bet. Just kick the field goal. And, yeah, kick is up. It is good. So, 10 nothing lead. 40 seconds left here in this first half. Chicago, all three other timeouts, are going to try to get something here. Underneath. Caught. And he'll be stopped. They'll call themselves a timeout. Third down and two now. They could run here and use a timeout just to get the first. But they're going to throw. Looking. Firing downfield. But it's going to be incomplete. And Chicago's going to have to punt. Ali McNeil with the pull of groin. He will be out for the rest of this game. So that hurts our up front, obviously, for a team that wants to run the ball. So last time, Malone had a pretty good return. See what he can do here. He's going to cut it to the outside. He's got some room. He has that speed. Malone, and the ball is loose. He gets hit hard, and Chicago's going to recover. It looked like for a moment we were going to have a chance to pick up some more points, but now Chicago, maybe another five yards and get a field goal range, and they might have just gotten it here. Underneath, grab down to the 35. They'll call their second timeout. And this will be about a 52-yard field goal. So Chicago, a chance to pick up some free points for half. Kick is up. It is good. So it was looking good, that Malone return. I thought we were going to have a chance to maybe get in some field goal range, get a 13-0 lead. But a big-time turnover. Chicago gets it. And it is 10-3 at half. Kind of what we thought. Low scoring affair, running the ball. But I have to say, we are playing so much better than that first game. It was an absolute disastrous second quarter. 10-3 lead. So we got Vikings at Cincinnati, but really got to look at uh, the Packers as well. They're going to Carolina. Uh, but this is really the biggest game. I would say the Packers and Vikings, really not in the division. I don't think they're going to make too much noise. This is... Almost for the, I wouldn't say for the division, because, you know, things out end up later in the season. We got, you know, a lot of time left, but still, this is, Bears win this game. I mean, their division is almost theirs. I mean, they'd have a three-game lead, maybe four with the, you know, with the uh, beating us twice. So, you got to win this game. As Travis Jones goes out, so now, as Montgomery with the carry, now a Lee McNeil out. Travis Jones, we'll see what's wrong with him. That's two guys up front, two big guys that are trying to stop the run. And you can see Chicago has got something rolling here. As now Fields gets loose for the first time, and he's going to pick up 11 yards of the 29-yard line. But he, you see, he hasn't had much this entire game. That's his first real decent run. Abstrained for Jones, so he'll be able to return. But still, we got to get him back here quickly. Bears driving here, second 11. They swing it out to Montgomery. And Montgomery's going to be brought out of bounds by Rodriguez at the 25. So third and seven. Love to hold him to three here. Fields outside, and Hughes, what a play! What a deflection. Would have been a first. That was fantastic. And holds him to a three-point attempt here. About 42 yards. Win really not a factor in this game. Kick is up, and it is perfectly down the middle. It's good. Chicago gets three points to start this second half. 10-6 game. Let's see what this offense can do, but Howe's going to be brought down. There's Costin, his second sack of the ball game. And now a third and 14. They're bringing more heat. Here they come. Blitz, but we fire quickly. Chandler Brooks, first down. Nice read by Sam Howe. No one where your hot is. No one where to go. Makes the throw, first down chains move and we'll go back to swift getting some great blocks breaks off one tackle for brisker another missed tackle trying to trip up and can't get him swift keeps going he's in for the touchdown deandre swift 66 yards he's been doing this it seems like every week what a run great blocking once again by the receivers jameson williams 
and I believe that's Traylon Burks, but then he just does the rest, breaking off some tackles, not going to go down, using that speed and acceleration to get for, away from everybody else, and he's in for the touchdown, DeAndre Swift. There you go. 17-6 lead, and Montgomery's going to be laid out. Can't go anywhere. Loss of two. Second and 12, but this time he's got some room to run. They just stick with the run. They just stick with it. They, they just do not care. I mean, it's, all, it's still only a two-possession game. But they, don't, they do not give up on that run at all. Second and eight. Fields the throw. Has some time. Going up top. Looking for a big-time shot. But Akuda's going to knock it away. Great job. Receiver had it in his hand. But he knocks it out of it. Incomplete. And now a third down. As Fields. He is going to run out of time. Aiden Hutchinson for the sack. He hasn't had one, it seems like, in a while. He's just had a, a bit of a rough season, really. He has, but nice sack there. Force a punt. And now with an 11-point lead, can we, can we come up with some more points here? As Traylon Burks with the reception. He's down to the 33. Nice job by Sam Howe stepping up, making the throw. We get a field goal here. That puts it to a two-touchdown lead. Second and two. And this one off to Randall. Breaks off a tackle. Breaks off another. Just keeps grinding. And he's got five yards for the first down. 135 left here in this third quarter. We're going empty. How looking. Look out. There's Costin. I believe that's his third sack. Third sack. Conway's having some issues. So we're going to bring in Daniel Robinson now at left guard. Because Philip Conway is having major issues there. So we're going to fire it. That's a dangerous throw looking for Jamison Williams. But... I believe he was past the line anyway. It is illegal forward pass. So that's a loss of down. So it'll be fourth down. We'll bring on the kicker here. Try to get this to a 20-6 to six game. It'll be about a 43-yard field goal. You can see the win. It's seven miles an hour. It's not playing too much into it. Kick is up. It is good. 20-6 to six lead. Get some more points. Build that lead. Waste some more clock. Bears yet, obviously, to score a touchdown in this game. So that is a big time by the defense as Montgomery's going nowhere. Bunch of guys there. Another loss. He's had a lot of a lot of negative runs in this game. He has. We have really shut him down. Second 11. They set up a screen pass. But Devin Bush is right there. He's done this before, and he does it again. Pick six, Devin Bush. It's like he – did he see him there? Montgomery gets caught up, and he's already throwing it. Gets caught up with Hutchinson, and Devin Bush is just waiting for it. It's almost like he threw it right to him. Bush with the pick six, 27-6 lead. We are dominating this game with just about to head into the fourth quarter. Man, what a different story. The Bears just absolutely dominated us just, what, three or four weeks ago? It completely changed up our team. And now we're the ones dominating them as the receiver's not even ready for it. Pressure up the middle from Dom Moyer. And let's see what Chicago does here. They're going to go for it. Down 21 here in this fourth quarter. Fields looking in the pocket. Fires! Oh, man. I was hoping maybe Rodriguez picked that one off. But it's caught. First down, Chicago. Second down. Fields looking pressure. He's trying to get rid of it, but he won't have time anymore. As Aiden Hutchinson runs him down. Second sack of the game. And a third and 18, but obviously they're going to probably go for it. So underneath, oh man. Chase Claypool drops it just wide open. And now a fourth and 18. That's going to drop incomplete. Actually better to have it incomplete than a pick because you get the ball where they have it. So the defense says, I don't think so. Not happening in this game. Hold him there at six. And now really a chance to pretty much close this one out. DeAndre Swift for the run. He's over 100 yards once again. He's got a first down. And we're down to the 14, second and four. Hand off to Stevenson. Stevenson should have another first. As Adrian Olsen a bit shaken up on the play. Hopefully he's okay. And a first and goal now from the 10. Trying to put this one pretty much... On ice, Stevenson up the middle. He keeps grinding, and he's going to get down to the two. Third down and goal now. We got Swift in the backfield. And in the ball. 
Swift. Oh, man. They're going to say he's just down at the one. But fourth and goal. Six minutes left. We got a lead. Let's go for it. Try to put this one in. Back to Swift. He dives forward, and he's in for the touchdown. DeAndre Swift, another one in his game. Puts it to 34-6. And I have to say, really, that touchdown run just opened up that... His touchdown run earlier just really opened up this game. I know the pick six from Devin Bush, but man, put it up to a 17-6 game. It just changes the whole vibe of everything, especially a team that hasn't put, put up a touchdown. And now it's 34-6, four minutes left. This game is just about over, and this is a big, big-time victory. Then I put it at three straight wins. We move a game back at Chicago. This, this is anybody's game now. We are back in it. And we got a chance to not only, you know, get to, a, get to a playoffs, but win the division. We have a chance. As this one's floated up, Devin Bush, second pick of the game. Pretty much closes this one out. Devin Bush, I've been saying it for weeks. But to me, this game, it's almost like it's this seals his Defensive Player of the Year award. He is having just one heck of a season. That is his fifth pick of the season. He's racked up five sacks. He's leading the league in tackles. I think he has a couple forced fumbles as well. And he leads the league in tackles for loss. He is having a monster season. And now I believe he's going to be an X Factor as well. And I think we held him under 150 yards passing. So McDougal should get the superstar. I mean, everything went right in this game. He had 82 yards passing. We completely shut them down. They don't like to pass that much anyway. Sam Howell had that not the greatest pick. A lot of those are throwaways. I know the completion percentage is not good, but a lot of them you didn't see were throwaways just with the pressure. Great game from Swift. But once again, the defense. The defense is just, it has been lights out the last three games. Good luck trying to move the ball against us. Good luck trying to get touchdowns. It's just not happening. It isn't. And that's even with not very, not getting much pressure. We're just been solid across the board. The coverage has been fantastic. We have been shutting down the run. It's just tough to move the ball against us. The defense has been so good. Yeah, Devin Bush, superstar X factor for him. So now that's with Hutchinson, Goodridge. I believe... Monty Worry is at X Factor. That puts Bush. I think he can only have three. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he can only have three X Factor, so I don't know how that's going to really work out. And there's McDougal. He's got a superstar. That is fantastic. I mean, this defense is absolutely loaded. That's what I'm saying. Even with the deficiency of quarterback, this is the best defense in the NFL, bar easily. And with the run game we got going, we got a chance. We just can't kill ourselves. We can't turn the ball over. That's the thing. Just cannot turn the ball over. So, 10 break tackle, play a rec tackle for the next game. Taking on Green Bay. I'm, I'm Right now, I'm saying it. I want to blow this team out. We should not have lost to Green Bay. We shouldn't have. A stupid fumble by Bray. Gave them the ball back. They kicked the field goal. It's going to suck with the Lee McNeil out, but Houston should be back. But that, that, that game just it put a bad taste in your mouth. It just really did. And I want to take this Green Bay team out. I just want to. Devin Bush upgrade. Block shit, strength, tackle, and zone. Coverage plus two. X-Factor now. So we got an ability there. Let's see what we want to go with. Right now it says momentum shift. I might want to change that up. Uh, shut down zone hawk. Reinforcement. Hmm, what do we want to go with here? With Devin Bush. Run stopper. Selfless. That could be a possibility. We got Mind Reader as well. With the play art. That is an ability for our team sometimes. With the, you know, the momentum meter. I don't know if I like that sometimes. Just due to the fact that you feel like you're half cheating. Because in reality, you could read out a play. There's plenty of time. You, you watch enough film. If you're a, a, a you know, very smart player. You know what you're doing. There's plenty of guys out there that can read and know ex probably exactly what you're running. But sometimes, it doesn't mean you're automatically going to stop it. So maybe we go back to that. But I don't know. 
it's even the Panay Soul knowing the blitz is coming, but even offensive linemen that are fantastic can read, hey, those two guys over there, they're coming. You know they're coming. So, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that. I don't know if you can consider it half cheating because it does happen in, in reality. You watch enough film, you can kind of see something, you know it's going to happen. So, I, I don't mind it maybe. Maybe we go back to that because, I mean, smart players and big time players can, can do that. Um, and really also they can do it not only and confuse other players. I mean, if you never looked it up, look at the Ed Reed play on Peyton Manning. He confused Peyton Manning, which is one of the craziest things ever to do. So it happens all the time. But this Green Bay team, I want to take them out. Sunday night, Lambeau, let's just do it. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Continue to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Lions franchise content. And I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.